you going? <laughs> On the box of fluffy ducks. Nice Sheldon, you? Yeah, nice to see you. Yeah, Clay. Fergus. Fergus. Nice to Clay. Clay, g'day mate. Jack. Jack. You guys are palms, are you? Yeah. Oh, bugger. Where exactly is this here, Sheldon? Uh, that's just looking through the saddle over into uh, into Timaru Creek. Um, so, and over the back there's the Timaru Creek public blocks. And uh, then further on up from there and over another uh, over another range is the Ahururi Valley. Good deer numbers, good uh, good chamois numbers and a wee few tar in there as well. Okay. Alright, let's uh, go for a wander, eh? Yep, let's do that. What's this place mate? Uh, so we're just up on uh, our trophy area. Um, it's a trophy enclosure, quite a large one, uh, on a peninsula up on the top end of Lake Harwea. Public land, and now we're on to private land. That means you just can't come up here with a permit, you've got to see this, this bastard, but uh, just for a kiwi, just out of interest, what would the price be for? Is it, does it vary on the different different things? Like, yeah, um, what about say I want to come up and get some meat? Is that doable? Or meat not? hunts we do quite often. Yeah, do we meat do hunts? A lot of meat hunting. Um, people just want to fill the freezer, take the sun out for the first deer, something like that. Yeah. Uh, we've got a really good game butcher as well, so we get him to process it into sausages and salamis. And what if what if I said, look, I just want to come up and get a red with you, just just for the freezer. Yep. What's it going to cost me? I don't want. I want to do all the cuts myself. Oh, an easy easy day hunt between five fifty and six fifty. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're in the business of keeping Kiwis hunting. And I'm allowed to shoot on this pond, you're saying? You're allowed to shoot on that pond, but... Happy days! on the run. Sheldon's bought me a souvenir to take back home because it's probably the only antler I'm going to get on this trip. It's a goodie too. It's a cracker isn't it mate? Yeah. Nothing like that in Nelson eh? So Jack what do you reckon about this rounding up deer on foot business? Oh it's pretty tricky but like when they want to play the game it's alright. So what brings you to New Zealand to be a, to be a guide? Oh, just better scenery than England, so I thought I'd come over and have a look. Yeah. Work on a farm for a bit and try my hand at this for a little bit. What do you reckon about a New Zealand woman? Oh, better than the English. Much more fun. More fun, eh? How long you been here for, boy? Uh, since the uh, start of January, so oh, few okay. months now. Good to hear. Yeah. Up here at Dingleburn, and this awesome setup, it's a Patriot camper. They're designed in Australia. And uh, it's just every bushman's dream. Top pops up. Keep all your grog. Caliphant on the side, you can have a share. Everything's stored. So if you've got a spare 48k, you can have one. Oh, happy days. Yeah, everything's tidy. I mean, which one does? The wee sink there? Or? Oh, jeez. Happy oh, days. Pulls out. Hey, these are bloody handy, aren't they? We take these in the scrub with us when we're hunting. Yeah, we take yeah, them. Yeah, bloody it's handy. Bad, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. No, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to make something like that yourself, you just oh, you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't eh? You couldn't. No. So you can raise that up and down from there. Yeah. Wow. What an awesome setup. Yeah, no, it is bloody good. Have you got electric brakes on those? Have you? Yep. So you're going down a steep hill. You can stop when you need to. Yep. Shit hot. Yep. Did you have a good day? I had a great day. That's right folks, I am in a bloody restaurant. What restaurant is this mate? That's uh, the Lake Hawea Hotel mate. Okay, it's got some awesome trophies up there. But this is probably one of my first clips where I'm ending up in a restaurant um, not eating what we have caught and killed. And why don't we 
we saw plenty of animals today. We saw heaps. We could have shot heaps. Why did we not? A lot of animals. Um, basically, it would have been a waste of meat today. We had no way to really look after the meat. So. Um, Bringing it down off the hill um, and not being able to, to hang on to it, chill it down. Yeah, not worth doing. That sits really well with me. So I've got some awesome footage. If you do want to go for a hunt, check this ugly face out and remember it because he's actually a good bastard. He now belongs to the Good Bastards Club. He's shouting me dinner and I've got to show you this on the menu. 36 bucks. But that's not all he's pretty much paid for everything. We are going to go camping after this, aren't we? We are going to actually... We are. We're, we're sleeping on the ground tonight. Yeah. So, yeah. Bivy bag and a tent, so... A little bit of luxury for dinner doesn't hurt. Yeah, a few... couple of beers. Are you the maitre d' here? Waitress, yeah. So is that your title, waitress? Yeah, yeah. Waitress. Okay, so you can look after fabulous us. Fabulous waitress. Fabulous. What makes you fabulous, exactly? <laughs> oh, we're smiling. Oh, I've got to say, when we came in here, the blonde lady gave us a big smile. Yeah. You gave us a big smile. That goes a bloody long way, doesn't it? A it good does. smile. It really does. There's no point being miserable. Well, it's not. Get you very far. And you might have had a really horrible day for all we know. We don't. Oh, you did have a horrible day. I've had a horrible week. <laughs> I don't know. I'll grab a pint of Emerson. Pint of Emerson. Yeah, two two beers. Thanks. Be awesome. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Nice. See ya. When you go into a pub or a restaurant or somewhere, you have a wait. Just come up to you. She's really lovely, and you you know, just uh, stop and think. What might have been going on that person's day to day? So we've been having a talk, and Sam's been just giving me a little info onto her ten-year-old son, which I want to say, g'day, mate, Jordan. How you going? Say g'day to Jordan. G'day, Jordan. And uh, you've been fighting a bit of a battle. We here. Tell us a little bit about your son. So Jordan is nearly ten, and he has had over fifty surgeries. He has laryngeal papillomatosis, which grows benign tumours in his airways, and have now moved onto his lungs. Um, it's incurable, he possibly will have it his whole life, very life threatening and he is just constantly smiling and he's a bit of a champion, a bit famous around the hospitals here. <laughs> wow, and, and you know, his mum has had a shitty, like we just asked before, you know, your week, she's had a hard week but she's still given us fantastic service with a brave smile, that really is f***ing amazing isn't it really, you think about it. Makes it, a big difference. For a parent, I can say there's nothing worse than having a child at six, so 10 out of 10 for mum. Yeah, and uh, I hope you get some support with that, eh? Yeah. And hey, Jordan, mate, g'day from Clay Tool Stories. Keep on fighting the good battle, pal. See you soon, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Oh, thank you. Really appreciate it. It's yeah. going to mean a lot to him. Oh, hopefully we can take him for a hunt or a fish one day, yeah? He's most welcome. That can happen, can't it? Yeah. Bloody oath, it can. Yeah, we can make that yeah. happen. We do that for young guys. Yeah, we love that. Yeah, yeah. This guy will do it, I can guarantee yeah. it. Or yeah. I will yeah. do that. Oh, happen. that would make his year. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll make that happen, eh? Yeah. yeah. We can make we'll that happen. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm going to shake something with you. Down okay. You're back down here this summer. Yep. 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 Tell Jordan he's on for us. Yep. Perfect. We're going to take him out. We're going to take him out. Yep. I'm going to take him. So there you go, it's going to happen, and that, I've got to say thank you to the Good Bastards Club for also helping make that happen, because they have a big part in it. We'll see you when we see you, okay? Thank you. I'll give you my number and details before we go. That's awesome. Okay, see ya. Cool, that'll be a cool thing to do. Yes, yeah, I'm excited about that. Yeah. Good morning, folks. Apologies, get ready for a horrible sight. That's right, <coughs> I've just woken up. Pretty, uh, I, don't think, I don't know what time it is, but the uh, sun's starting to poke its head up by the looks of it. Anyway, um, this morning, we're going to make a young boy's uh, dreams come true a little bit, hopefully. On the strength of you good bastards and everything you've donated and helped us to get us here. I'm currently at Glendean Station. I was going to start in the scrub last night with my mate Sheldon and a bivvy, but look where I am. Look at my own bed. Check this out. Velvet. Good bastard. Richard that owns this place. At the drop of a hat put us up for the night, so a nice comfortable bed. Anyway, we've uh, changed things around a bit. Currently Sheldon, he got up very early this morning, he's actually in Queenstown right now. But he's going to come back here. Uh, I've got a few things to shift around, but we're going to make it happen for this kid. We're going to actually take him out and do some man stuff. What's man stuff? Well, stuff that boys enjoy doing with older men like hunting, fishing, today it's going to be shooting, we're going to hopefully get him onto the blowgun, get him down the rifle range and see how it pans out. But just uh, do some stuff, we were going to come back in summer and do it but in the scheme of things summer's a wee bit too far away for this guy so we're going to do it right now. So that's the day, so join us. 
I like that. I like the way he looked you in the eye, eh? See that? That's the idea. That's cool, man. You always look a man in the eye when you shake hands. Good to meet you, mate. Nice to see you again, Nice to see you too. Thank you for this morning. Yeah, it should be good fun today. Yeah. I woke up this morning and I said, oh, can you just look at my YouTube? Oh, yeah, me and Jack's so money fair. Watch some of this morning. <laughs> well, that's good because they're taking you out this morning. Have you seen Clay talk stories before, have you? Oh, cool. So what's your favourite clip out of all the ones? Oh yeah, choppy. Okay. Have you ever shot a blowgun before? No. Do you reckon you get enough oomph to blow the dart out? Yes. Cool. Right. Oh, my mum should see that. <laughs> <laughs> I said yes. We'll pan it over just in case we get a bit sore. Awesome. Oh, into it. Okay. The, uh, so Smith, you come with me. And you come with me, mate, yeah? Okay. I'll clear some room in the truck for you, bud. So that's your seat, buddy. Jump on in. So I've got to ask you first, are you okay with the camera pointing at you? You all right? I got, have I got your permission? Yes. So I need to ask you that, because you know that quite a few people are going to see you. You're going to be a wee bit famous now. You all comfortable with that? So me and Jordan, we're just uh, chewing the fat here and he's telling me about his hunting. And he hunts with a, a longbow, is that right mate? Yeah. And you've knocked over a rabbit or two, eh? Mm -hmm. That's pretty awesome, because that takes a real skill to stalk an animal and get that close, eh? Yeah, I'm, I'm very skilled. Are you? Yes. Oh, that's cool, he's very skilled, that's great. I could probably learn something from you today then, because I'm not that skilled. <laughs> I'm still learning. He's skilled with rocks. He's skilled with rocks. Injured, buddy, well, yeah, if you get injured, you can catch it and eat it. I used to, when I was your age, I used to use a slingshot like a shagai. And I used to get uh, rabbits with that. And I was, pretty, I was pretty skilled back then. I was actually more skilled then than I am now. See, because you're young now and your eyes are probably better than mine. Your ears are better than mine. Because as you get older, those things start to get a bit less. Because your earrings. Because I've got earrings on. <laughs> it's because I've got an earring. Do you reckon that's why my hearing's no good? I don't know. You might be right, maybe it's... Uh, I've only got one earring, though. Oh. That's because secretly I'm a pirate. Don't they have two? Yeah, actually they do have two. <laughs> yeah, I think if you've got one, what I'm is it? I'm more pirate than you. Yeah. Well, you've got two, have you? Yeah. No, I've got, I've got a um, cat. Oh, yeah, okay. So, does your, does your dad take you out hunting at all or stuff like that? No, just my cousin. Just your cousin? Oh, yeah. Does your dad do any hunting? No. It's not. Oh, yeah. We used to go down. Tim's field, but they cut down that forest. There was two forests. Oh, okay. So, uh, Jordan said he's got skills. Got skills. Let's see how much skills you got, buddy, eh? Yeah. You know what that is? No, a blowgun. That's a blowgun. Come with me, buddy. You gotta set it up. We're at the rifle range right now with Jordan, and we've got the blowgun. And this box here is your target, okay? See that there? It's oh, white. Wait, I'm gonna do one shot and show you, okay? And then it's gonna be your turn. Okay. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So, um, I'll put a GoPro on my head so we can film you, eh? Okay. Do you want to do that? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. So, my cameraman today is Jordan. Have you got my head in the shot? Yes. Okay, are you dead still? You're not moving around? No. Are you flat? Is the horizon flat? Now we can talk it. Can you see a bit of fur on that? Yes. That's the last rabbit I shot. See, so it's still got fur on. That's my lucky arrow. <laughs> I'm going to let you use my lucky arrow. Okay. So I'm just going to do a quick shot, here's the box, so you aim at the box, I'm going to do the prickles, aim at the box. Shot! Wow. Yeah, right, your turn mate, oh. your turn. <laughs> Let's see if he's got skills. I got skills! Take my lucky arrow out buddy, use my lucky arrow, if you use that you can't miss. In the end, there, mm. yep, yeah, okay, so it just goes in a little bit, so give a wee push, that's it, cool. You've got to be strong to hold that. That's it. And you can aim that box and give it a good blow when you're on it. Awesome! He got it! <laughs> you beauty! Hey look mate! I think that I got mate, one. you got right in the centre on top of my hole. <laughs> Dude, give us five! That's, you have got skills! I got skills. You got skills, I bro! Got skills. Man, you nailed it right in the middle. Hey, I reckon it was just luck. Can you do that twice? I think it was just luck, but I'll try it again. Let's go for two, eh? Now remember, treat this just like a rifle. Always don't point it at people, always point the, the barrel at the ground. Just good safety. Let's try if you can do it two in a row so I know you're not making it up. It wasn't just a 
It wasn't a fluke. I think it was just luck. You think it was just luck? You reckon? Hopefully not. <laughs> Let's go for two, bud. Let's go for two. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna take you back another metre, make it even harder. Okay. Okay. Take your time. Okay, and deliver that shot. See here you go. Just take your time, no hurry. Can you hold this pretty heavy for a little boy? Hold up, can you hold that? Hmm? Yep. Awesome! We got a cool shot again, dude. Aim, but it's it's sunken. Hey mate, that's a, it's a really good shot because it's gone on a long way. And from a distance, that was quite a long shot. Yeah, mate. If you can, if you can honestly get it from that far there, you can kill a rabbit. Believe me. You're delivering a powerful shot. You've got pretty good accuracy. You're only this far off. Any anything in this sort of range here will be a kill shot. That would have got the rabbit's back leg, and you would have had time to deliver a second shot and take it out. Or if you had your faithful dog with you, could let the dog go, and it would have caught the rabbit because the rabbit can't run very far. We had a hunting dog, but we gave it to someone else. Okay mate, let's have a go, let's go right to the uh, 15 metre mark. Okay, this is a 15 metre shot, I don't, I don't expect you're going to get it boy. Sorry, I've got faith in you, but that's a long shot for a 10 year old, even a long shot for an adult, I'd struggle to get that. Oh, you've got to hold up to put the arrow in, is the arrow still in there? Okay, now take your time, hold, it's a really hard one that there. Go a little bit higher than you normally would, go a little bit higher, and good punch. Oh! Okay, maybe like you know what though, you know what, you know what, you're perfectly in line with it, you didn't get it, but you this. didn't have quite enough drive, look, your arrow is perfectly in line, so your aiming was good, but it's come down here, that hit the yeah, so you're right in line with your target, you need a bit more oomph with your lungs, oh dude, you're so close each time, but that rabbit's still alive, he got it, oh you did too, but you still got the fox, that's, that that counts. Has more skill to get the top though. Listen, he got this is his shooting. So shooting's actually in line. We're shooting from 15 meters. It's a long way away. Why are you in the same spot? They're all in the same spot because that's called grouping, and that means you're shooting well. Most of the rabbits, most of the rabbits I shoot are inside 10 meters. You're in a, you're in a 10 meter mark now. If you can hit the white, then you've got a kill. Not bad. There's another dart. Reload. Yes, we have it. That's now we're talking. Give me five. Give me five. You're on it. You've done it. Woo! Now we can do the gun. Yeah, the gun's an X, mate. Look at this. So this is at 10 metres. Yes. Can you handle a rifle? Probably not, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy's got so much pause out of energy. What, has he not been smiling? Oh, no, not Probably for a long crazy. time. So we've been smiling back to your little boy, yeah? Yes. Awesome. Very good. Won't do you any harm this gun. Okay. Okay. There's not much recoil. A seven-year-old shot it the other day and shot a wallaby. So we're going to close this action now. Okay. Get your finger off the trigger. Finger off the trigger until I tell you to. You got it lined up. Three, two, one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that, that hit my ankle on the wood. Oh, did it? Oh, my okay. <laughs> You're right, mate. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you how good you did. Now, what do you prefer? Tell me, the blowgun or the blow rifle? Gun. The blowgun. Blow <laughs> yeah, blowgun. Dead yeah. centre, eh? Dead centre and an inch high. Wow, that's Wait, good shooting, mate. That's good can shooting. We go yeah, we can go look. You're dead centre and an inch high. Do you want me? Right there, buddy. That is pretty damn good. That's really good. So that was what it was going for. That's what you're aiming for. That's what you had. At 200 yards, you would have been smack on. Bang on. I'm awesome and skilled. Yeah. What are you? I'm awesome and skilled. Okay, he's in the uh, driver's seat of my truck. Okay, so accelerator's there. I want you to hit that seat with the footers. Give it a bit of a rev. That's it. Not too much. Okay, brakes the middle one. No, you can do the brake. <laughs> you know how you remember? A, B, C. So A is for accelerator. Yeah. B is for brake and this is for clutch. You got it mate, you so got what's it. what's clutch do? Well clutch is what you do to disengage when you're changing gears, so you disengage the engine from it. That's okay, how I clutch works. Clutch. Okay, I'll do clutch. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll do gears, but you've got to put it first, okay? You alright? Yep. You sure? Yes. Concentrate. I've I'm got... concentrating. You're not going to crash my truck, are you? Hopefully not. Go well, pal. We're going to turn up this road up here, okay? 
We're gonna turn up this road, not, not too much. Okay, straight ahead. See the see the power? See the path ahead of us? Yeah. Stay on the path, mate. Oh, that'd be bad. Doing pretty well. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. You confident? Yes, kind of. No, not really, but I want to do it. Keep, keep firm, mate. Keep firm. You're good. I don't want you crashing that deer fence in front of us. You've got to turn a slight to the right. To the right. That's good. Oh, here's a big bank. Don't go over that bank. Going pretty well. Well, oh, you're up on the other bank now. Come on, you get straighten up, straighten up. Straighten up. You're going to tip a truck over. Got it. <laughs> you do no, you take it, you're in control. You take it. Okay, I'll trust you, okay? Okay, that's good to see you back in the control now. Okay, we're gonna carry on. Straight ahead. Now we're gonna do this, okay? Straight ahead. You alright? Yep. Are you still feeling confident or are you a bit scared? I'm scared. Good. Wait, good... what? <laughs> Going up a hill here, it's gonna be a hard one. Good. Let's wait a little bit. Where's the road going? Where's the road? Oh, straighten up, straighten up, mate. Don't get off the bank. You're good. Going well. Okay, I don't want to do any more. You had enough? You yeah. serious? Okay. Yeah. I've got it, mate. You just sit there. I've got it under control. You did well. You did really well. I know I did well. Yeah, it did pretty good. Okay, I'll put it out again. We'll put the handbrake on. Here, what? I'm just looking around the back of the truck, man. I can hear the Gummy Bear song. Is there a Gummy Bear song? Yes. Right, if you can sing it, I promise I'll give you a Gummy Bear. I honestly don't remember it. Make it up then. Because I don't even know how it goes. I still don't know. Just make one up random. Do you have a phone? Yeah, we could find it, but... Uh, Is there internet? Yeah, we're not going to look up the Gummy Bear. If you don't know it off the top of your head, man. I'm sorry I can't give you a Gummy Bear if you can't make one up, though. Sorry, dude. Please. Yeah. You just make a random one up and I'll give you, even a short one, it can only be like three seconds long, I'll give you gummy bear. Gummy bear, gummy gear, but gummy bear, I like gummy bears. That's it. <laughs> you put the word button in too, by the way, eh? These, mate, are my oh, favourite. Oh, yes, I know those. They're very chilly. They are. They're actually made um, by Dr. Haribo, who's in Germany. He's a German guy. What is and Haribo? That, Haribo. That's, that's the right <laughs> name. Yeah, it's the right name to say Haribo. That's his name, and he's a doctor. And when I was in Germany, I used to work there as a singer. I actually sang for him, or for his company at least. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You sang? Yeah, for this, this guy's company. It was a big company. Hey, man, take more than one. Oh, okay. We've got a long drive. Call me Bria. Um, These are my favourite. Mm. If you had the whole packet, do you think you'd eat them all in one day or do you think you'd make them last? Well, I'd probably make them last. Would you? Mm -hmm. There's a present from me, there you go. Take them. Oh, you sure, you sure you don't want to take some before I have them all? I already have to. Oh, you sure you don't want to take more? Yeah, I should have some green. <laughs> These are my favourite. They could last me. Oh, and just want one. The rest of yours, dude, okay? <laughs> Uh, Make sure you share with your mum too, yeah? Yeah, I will. And your mates, but don't eat too many, I'll do this with sick guts, like three or four a day at most, okay? Promise? Okay, six at most, promise? Yeah? Pinky promise? No more than six a day? You know what happens if you break a pinky promise? No, I've actually never known. You lose your little finger. Straight up. <laughs> I'm serious, man. I'd probably, I'd rather do knuckle promise. What's, what's a knuckle promise? If you, if you break promise, you have to rub your knuckles on the concrete. Oh no, that's lead. horrible. Yeah. This is the actual place where I met your mum. I was in here for dinner last night. Yeah, she told me. And she told us all about you. And we said, how's your day going? And she said, it'd been a pretty horrible week. So we thought we'd make it a bit better for her. I hope we did. See that head up there, mate? See that one up there? Yeah. I shot that with my blowgun. <laughs> yeah, mate, I shot with my blowgun. Yeah, that's mine. Have you not seen it before? I have, but I didn't even knew who shot it. Yeah, I got it from a blog, do you believe me? Yes. I'm telling tall stories. That was a tall story, okay? You asked me what a tall story is? That was a tall story. I couldn't even shoot, I couldn't shoot that with anything. <laughs> okay. Hey mate, um, I'm going to hit the road, eh? I've got to, I've got to, I've got to go to Dunedin now, okay? I really enjoyed your company. Thanks for helping me with my channel. He suggested I do live streaming. I do post up people's comments. What else? And thumbs up, yeah. Oh, 
What else? What else could I do to make it better? If you, if you get my way, most subscribers, I'll totally give you a shout out, man. I'll do more than that. I'll come and see you and we'll go hunting again. Yeah. Yeah. He's a cool, cool, cool dude. Hey, buddy. See you later. Okay? Always look a man in the eye. Good to meet you. And as per usual, if you can't be good, be careful. You're right, mate. See you later. Bye. Bye bye. Your mum will be here in about five minutes, okay? She's on the way. What a neat kid, eh? Just bloody amazing. Quite overwhelmed, actually, and clever. I wasn't supposed to say this, I got told not to say it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna get fried for saying this. Sorry, Sheldon. Apologies up front. But today, Jordan actually shot better than both of <laughs> Sheldon's clients. And one of them is a ballistics expert. So, probably uh, a few egos might be hurt there, but that's just the reality of it, man. And take me to court, Sheldon. I'm sorry, buddy. I hope I your reputation but it's got to be said man that kid can shoot hey it was way too big a firearm for him but he did bloody well all things considered he also did very well with his lungs using that that blow gun because it takes a huge amount of lung power and that's one of his big obstacles is being able to breathe anyway i really enjoyed your company jordan big shout out to you mate thanks for teaching me about what i can do to make my channel better he suggests I should start streaming. I've never done that and I don't really know what it is because I'm a bit of a uh, internet, oh, what's the word, I don't know. A bit backwards as far as it goes with technology. So I'll look at streaming for you and uh, also, what else I said I should start posting people's comments and commenting live while I'm talking, which is quite a good idea. So I've learned something today. I've had a fantastic day with him. I'm running a bit late, but uh, the day is not over yet. Heading to Dunedin now to meet up with Jed, go pig hunting. But that will be another adventure for another day. Look after yourself, and if you're in a town somewhere, and I know there's a boy who's got a father who can't spend time with him for one reason or another, um, reach out, take that boy fishing, hunting, anything, just do something. Because it takes a whole village to raise a child. Right, that's me out. Once again, thank you to the good bastards for making this happen. See you later.